Welcome back everyone, I'm John at Questmarker. Have you heard about Oxenfree? background information to those, like me, who thought Oxenfree was a strange game title. Oxenfree is a word that's often found in the phrase, Ollie Ollie Oxenfree, which is what you say in a game of hide and seek to get people to come out of hiding, instead of just, Are you good? That I think should let us know what we're going to get into when we boot up Oxenfree. Jonas, seriously, where are you? Set on an island in the Pacific Northwest that you can only get to by ferry, Oxenfree is a game that's all about the story. It doesn't have many gameplay mechanics or systems we can talk about here, so I'm going to try to avoid all intentional spoilers when talking about Oxenfree, and only talk about the stuff you're going to encounter in the first quarter or about the first hour of the game. You play as Alex, a high schooler who is going to the end of year binge fest on Edwards Island with her new stepbrother Jonas and your wimpy, witty, stoner friend, Ren. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s. Who You're soon joined up by the stuck-up Clarissa and the quiet Nona. These are the five primary characters that carry Oxenfree's story over the finish line, and there's not really anything bad to say about any of them. It's probably because they all interact with Alex in a meaningful way, and they always play off of her choices. And because Alex is such a strong pillar when it comes to the story, she's easily the best written and the best acted character in the game. And that's because her dialogue choices are believable. Oxenfree doesn't suffer from the plague that is misleading dialogue choices. While some of your options sometimes seem ambiguous, I think that's done intentionally. It's done believably. Oxenfree is able to capture how teenagers talk. Cool guy, cool head. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? Alex's three dialogue options are not constantly arranged in some good, neutral, evil pattern, which means being good Alex is never about going after the same dialogue bubble. And Oxenfree handles dialogue masterfully. It's not perfect because I think some of the dialogue in the later sections between Alex and Jonas gets a little campy, but I think this is overshadowed between the well done back and forth that dominates the majority of the game. You have to respond timely in Oxenfree or risk saying nothing at all. And characters continue in conversation as you're thinking about what to say. It's organic and flowing and just a pleasure to watch and listen to. It doesn't have a kind of stop and start. You feel like you're participating in actual dialogue with some of these characters. Here's an example of why Oxenfree does dialogue so well. Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that this Alex- This isn't fair, like at all. Of course it's fair. Why'd your parents get divorced? I know you know why. Go to hell. That's my answer. Happy? Yeah, I won the turn, of course I'm happy. All right, you know what? Let's just stop the game, okay? I think everyone's ready to do something else. Wait, let's 
Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! The 2.5D landscape that Alex explores back and forth probably contains Oxenfree's greatest weakness. Size, slow animations, and at times a lot of meandering around. There's a couple instances in the game where you're just walking through some forest without dialogue, watching Alex struggle down a rock face, listening to Oxenfree's cool vibes. I mean, this is fine, once or twice. It just happens too often. Could they have shrunk Edward Islands a little? Yeah, probably. And this is only a problem because the game thrives on tension and tight storytelling. When we have this long walking or climbing sequence, it cuts the pacing of the game. It's especially problematic in the later half of the game as you're getting into more of these backtracking scenarios, but really all you're wanting is for things to kind of come together. And boy, do they reach a great climax. If you're a lover of the Goonies or Stranger Things or Dark or Twin Peaks or Alan Wake, or Life is Strange, you'll probably find a lot here to love about Oxenfree's story. There's a problem with realities here and a Cold War military accident and a lot of stuff about radios and radio frequencies and frequencies across realities and hallucinations and time traveling. Maybe time traveling. Radios are what Oxenfree brings to the table as a new idea in this eerie horror mystery dialogue story genre. Alex is equipped with her radio, because Ren told her that the caves on Edwards Island house frequencies long thought dead. It's her radio that triggers the problems of Oxenfree, and it's the radio that she has to use to get out of the mess. I'm not going to talk any more about that. I probably have already said too much. I'm only going to finally add that you're not going to just play through Oxenfree's 3-4 hour runtime once. So when thinking about the length of Oxenfree, really picture it as something that you're probably going to want to play through two times. So for a seven hour, seven or eight hour experience of brilliant dialogue, storytelling and radio frequencies, Oxenfree receives a positive score. It deserves to be played in experience. I've been dying for night school studios to follow up with Oxenfree and to hone in on what it does well and to kind of cut out all of these pacing problems. And I think that you too, after you travel to Edwards Island, you'll be wanting the same. Is this... Th this can't be the way we came in, right? We must have doubled back the wrong way somehow. We're trapped. We're trapped! Have you heard about, have you heard about Oxen?